So, today I would like to cover a topic that's been all over my fucking Facebook feed. Frankly, it's a topic that's been going on a long time. And it irritates the living shit out of me. It is Justin Bieber. Nah, just kidding. I'm not going to waste my time talking about that little wanker. Kid's an asshole anyway. Who cares? No, it's about all these gun issues. Now, I'm going to try and do the most neutral review on my standpoint. This is all going to be opinion, all my opinions, and what I feel should be done. I'm going to be reading all these freaking stories and news about gun control in the U.S. It is indeed, yes, the biggest thing in the media is gun control in the United States. I'm guessing because in the United States, it's a second amendment as a right to own firearms, which I have no problem. I like guns. I shoot them. Of course it's our right to own guns as Americans. Hell, we fought off the British with muskets, but let's face it, we've come a long way since muskets. And now there's uh, debates about open carry and shit. I'm like watching videos on YouTube at how people fucking come. They're recording. They're doing this on purpose to piss off police and give them a bad name, I'm guessing. Because they got their sidearms right at their holsters there. And, no, oh, fuck it, it's green for them. It's, why does it be green for me? They got their guns at their holsters there. <laughs> out in the open. The most recent vid, I'll post a link at the bottom that I've seen, is these girls. I'm just exercising my right as an American to protect myself and others to carry a gun with me. You fuck you, bitch. You walk into a shopping mall with the fucking sidearms. Mind you, they're 18 to 22 years old. They walk in with their freaking sidearms, like they own the place, and then they get, oh, police harassment, the cops, someone called the cops on us. Well, no shit, you're in the middle of a fucking Burger King. What, you worried about someone stealing your fucking cheeseburgers? They get the cops called on them. Yeah, I'd probably call the police too, if I saw people with guns in a public place. I don't have a fun, that's, I wouldn't have a problem with concealed carry. But don't have your fucking weapon waving out. It's like if you're a kid with a flat bin baseball cap and you wear it at an obscene angle. You just look like an asshole. You know, the cop comes up. He's doing all the normal shit. Can I see your licenses, IDs, blah, blah, blah. Not your weapon permits, your ID. So they rip out their ID and they're talking about, are we being detained? No, you're getting questioned because you brought, decided to bring a handgun to a fucking Burger King. Or whatever, I don't know, look in the video what it is. And they're surprised. The cop comes with an automatic, white, or semi-automatic rifle. Is that necessary? Yes! It is fucking necessary! You have a gun. <laughs> the person with the bigger gun wins the fight. If you decide to be a douchebag about it and whip out your pistol in front of a cop, He's gonna want to have some better firepower. He's protecting his own ass and people around him too. Their excuses for having the guns on them is, oh, I have a right as an American to carry a gun by my side and I want to protect myself and others around you. It's like, you don't want to protect others around you. What, it's not a movie. You're not gonna be a fucking superhero. <laughs> fucking... They're not going to be a superhero. They're not going to defend others by carrying that gun. They're just going to make everybody freaking nervous. It's a little psychological thing. If you see someone with a badge, they're there to protect you. If you just see someone with a fucking gun, your motives are going to be questioned. So these cops, they bring them outside, and they're getting... I'm thinking they're just getting shit from the fucking people they're questioning. Oh, we have rights. We don't have to answer this. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. <sighs> Yes, you have to answer the questions. Yes, you have to show your ID. If you're not going to fucking cooperate, yeah, you're going to make them suspicious as all hell. Trust me, it's easier just to tell the truth. Go about your way and be 100% honest with everybody. Because if you're just going to give the cop shit, he's going to get pissed off. I mean, this cop was already pissed off enough because he had to answer a call, which is pretty much over nothing. And he also explains, yes, you have your right to bring your gun wherever the hell you want, but 
these people also have a right <laughs> to kick you out of this place if they're not comfortable with you here. This country also has a crazy bird lady. Crazy bird lady, she's gonna send her attack geese on me. Make geese illegal. Open goose carry, should not be allowed. Arrest that woman. I think concealed carry is good. Because ignorance is bliss, you don't make people nervous yet. If some shit goes down, you can just be like, Wah! Drop it, bitch! And these shootings at the malls? I got a question. Where's some fucking mall security? Seriously? If there's more secured armed security forces around protecting people, then no one would have to go use the fucking stupid argument. Oh, we have to carry our guns to protect others. And then give people like me a headache. Like, the shooting recently at a shopping mall. I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna guess it's like Colorado. But, uh, there was a shooting at the mall, two people dead, plus the shooter himself, so that's three total. The guy had the decency to kill himself. I don't know the story behind it. I'm guessing it was, um, I read somewhere that it was at work. Shot two of his co-workers and then shot himself. It was apparently over quicker than it began. And what I'm really starting to hate is all this bullshit of people classifying Americans, only Americans too, by the way, is gun-wielding, uneducated morons. People, don't be so ignorant. Ignorance is bliss when it comes to the concealed carry, but ignorance is not bliss when you are sectioning out a whole group. You Americans and your guns. Let's take a recap on who has Civil Wars where. South America's got gun problems. You don't hear them in the news. Africa, Middle East, all that stuff, huh? Where's all that shit, huh? Everyone gives America a whole bunch of shit. I personally moved out. I'm living in Germany right now. I moved out of that country. But it still kind of offends me because I'm being dragged into the stereotypes of being an ignorant, gun-wielding moron. Yes, there are the people who are over-patriotic and are stupid with how they want to show off their weapons. I don't want to be one of the, I don't want to be grouped with it ignorant. Yeah, there are those people that are ignorant with their guns and then be like, "Hey, look how like I'm over exercising my right and then getting shit for it." As opposed to I'll exercise my right, but at the same time, I respect the other people around me. These people just don't have... Those people are the ones that you should be pissed at. But unfortunately, it's people like those that make the media. There's no normal people that don't make the media. It's only the freaking ass wipes that do. That would be sucky if that was all full of moss and I slipped into the river. How much good stuff actually happens in the media? People want something to bitch about. You're goosey, 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 goosey. Or not. How about you? You want to be put it? Nope, that goose is like, fuck your shit, I'm out. I still feel really sorry for that cop. They got a lot of shit just for doing his job. He was just on call. So just to put that out there, Yes, we have gun control issues, but it's not the guns, it's not a gun control problem. I don't know why I said gun control issues, it's an idiot control issue. Everyone's like, oh, everyone can own a gun. Everyone should own a gun. It's their right to own a gun. I'm sorry, but if, if, <laughs> if I have a choice to give a gun to someone who is well-rounded family man, Pays his taxes, goes to work, has a loving family, and wants to protect it. As opposed to someone who's been taking antidepressants for a few years. And is schizophrenic. Can't go there. I'd probably give it to the family man. That's a problem. That's another problem. If the family man has a son that's schizophrenic... He should be smart enough to know how to lock the guns away. Rather than just... I don't know. Leave it on the shelf somewhere in the house. For his depressed son to grab it and kill everyone at school. Everyone's blaming the gun. No one is blaming the people. Is that safe to travel on? Nope. 
can't just blame one group of people for something that a few people did. It's like Ryan Dunn drinking and driving at a Porsche at hundreds of miles an hour doing drugs, killing himself, and then, oh, look, all the Americans like to do that. No. I did get a speeding ticket in the U.S. for 112 miles an hour, but I wasn't doing drugs. We're at a stalemate now, because, like I said, times have progressed. Muskets have become AK-47s, AR-15s, and semi-automatic handguns. So that means we also have to progress with the time like my fucking forefathers were in times where there was really no paranoia. Now everyone's fucking paranoid, and if you make everyone paranoid, that's when things get dangerous. Open carry, I could allow it, but just no, seriously, don't be an ass about it. If you carry a gun on your hip and a cop decides to pull you over because you got a gun on your hip, he's just checking to see if you're legit, not just a psychopath. Don't give him any shit. He's doing his job. Same goes for fucking DUI checkpoints. People with their half-rolled windows. Roll the window down. Just be respectful. When I got my speeding ticket, I was honest and respectful with the cop. I got off a lot easier. And I had stuff done for me at a quicker pace. Where the fuck do I cross? Oh, you shitting me? Oh, that's stupid. Oh yeah, also on a side note, I don't have a problem with these big clips. Well, it's more inconvenient. It's more convenient. You don't have to reload as much. And if you do find yourself in a shit situation, you got enough ammo to take care of it all. And I'm also going to add that I know there are twisted cops. There are cops that are just a bunch of assholes, but if you look at a lot of the videos online, be honest. The fucking person who got pulled over is antagonizing them and irritating the cop. I got my rights. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. Shut up. Shut up. It's like, seriously, how much of a bonehead can you be? Oof. Is it green yet? No. Is it green yet? No. How about now? No. No! no yeah, dude. Shit.